Welcome back to Fillette Field. Game two, Senior League Asia Pacific Championship. Wanted to progress to Easley, South Carolina. Take part in the World Series. Career off the back of a thrilling game yesterday. Come from behind scoring six runs in the bottom of the last innings to beat a pretty dejected New Zealand team. Indonesia on the other hand, bit of cold Auckland evening, just couldn't get anything going against Guam. They went down 9-2, so important for them to get something rolling here today. I'm literally all on my own today, so again, uh, don't have the scoring app with me. I'm going to be unable to give you player names, I'm sorry about that. But, you do get to see the game. We put a bit of effort in this morning to get our cameras in a slightly better position. We'll see how this big right-hander for Korea goes. He's looking pretty sharp. Go. Having had a downpour earlier, it'll be interesting to see the condition of that mound, whether or not the clay starts to uh, slow him down any. Oh, looks like it's time for us to play ball. Number nine leading off for Indonesia. That's a top start. Tries to throw a curveball there and that's been hooked down the line foul. I think you can see almost everything from this camera. We'll try to give you a few shots of the pitches. Just get a bit of a look in. Oh, and we have a hip out of there. There's a curveball. That's not going to hurt too much. These Indonesian kids are tough. Be interesting to see if Indonesia are aggressive on the bases. We saw a couple of teams stealing a lot yesterday. They're going to lay down the bunt. We've seen this. Team's trying to get runs on the board. Number 21. Indonesia looking to get on the board for the tournament. Tough loss, 9-2 against Guam. Tough conditions that game. 
Korea, on the other hand, would be ecstatic about the comeback win they had against New Zealand. We're not going to talk about that game too much. Heartbreak for the local team. And there we go. Throwing the heat for the first strike out. I'll try to sharpen up on, on pick off so I can switch camera. Uh, this camera might have been hit a little bit by the rain earlier. Not sure how clear it is. I'm sure Aaron Trello will tell me if there's a problem with it. Just mention it won't come as a surprise to many. I'm uh, oh runner in motion to the first baseman. Makes the easy play. Does advance a runner. So two out runner on second. So as I was saying, opening day MLB. I am indeed still supporting the Oakland Athletics. So. Don't be afraid to come down and join me. I could do with some company. It'd be nice. Number 23 steps into the box for Indonesia. Fastball's looking good for number 41 for Korea, but is off speed, struggling to find the zone. Just to let you know, my daily process when it rains is to try to run around all three of our cameras with baseball caps. Makes nice contact there, and that's through the gap. Korean fielding pretty sharp, so that runner never had a chance to score. That's our first base hit of the game. So I run around our three cameras with baseball caps. I have to climb up fences to put a cap over the camera to try to protect it from rain. It does appear as though the last one I was not that quick getting to. So we'll be waiting for that to dry out in the sun. In the meantime, we'll stick a little more to our other shots. Lanky left-hander steps into the box. Chance to drive in a run. That fastball is looking sharp today. Oh, that is, that's a close pitch. Korean catcher holding that for a little bit. He's showing the umpire. That might have been on the outside corner. Straight back to the pitcher. Makes a play at one. Oh, on the foggy camera. I shouldn't switch to that, should I? We go to the middle of the first. Indonesia getting a couple of players on. Unable to score.
Good start. Good start. Yeah. Strikes. Better than yesterday. <laughs> strike, strike, strike. Should probably mute the microphone when I'm sitting here talking to coaches. Graphic up just to remind Aaron Trello. It's a team at Central City Baseball Club. Get things done. getting to hear the players experiencing the beauty of a dirt infield that's just had a downpour on it. The grounds crew here have done a great job getting them back on the field but ground, ground does not dry quickly. A little bit of a situation here. One of the Indonesian players, left fielder, has done something to himself. Our medic here been called for. What do the kids say? Do they still say shout out? Shout out to Steve Penny. He's here all week looking after the welfare of these, these players. the number one to their top player. See in the background there some coaching. Coaching on the fly. Bunt technique. This is anticipating the leadoff had it getting on. Number two, hit him, moving him over. Team shoes, though, right? Yeah. yeah. So you will 
notice the Korean team, the full uniform includes cleats and just seen one of the players here whose feet are a bit too narrow for his cleats, saying that in the mud he's having a little bit of a difficult time. I'll settle for uh, free cleats that don't quite fit me properly. But that's the Kiwi way. So, unfortunate there for Indonesian left fielder. He's been subbed out of the game with an injury. Indonesian pitcher looking pretty sharp. Ground ball to third, this will be a tough play. And he will beat it out easily. These conditions slightly wet, it's always going to be a tough play. Korean batter really quick out of the box here. And let's see, we've just seen the bunt practice. Let's see if it can be put into practice here. Indeed, number two does square the bunt. Cut of that one, fouls it away. Runner goes, and that's an absolute cannon, but he just got a bad bounce. Catcher did well. The ball didn't skid. Got a bit of a tennis ball bounce on it. Okay, okay, okay. And back up the middle. Pitcher blocks it and makes a play. Great work from the pitcher. Runner moves over, so as you might have heard from behind us, we've got Beckett in the box. Number nine for Korea, chance to drive in a run. One ball, two strikes. One out, runner on third. Oh, 
very competitive pitch. So you see in the background there, it might be plain in the sun, but it does look like some ominous clouds rolling on in. I'm going to be doing my baseball cap run again. Oh, outside corner, frozen. Number 41 at the plate. This boy's got some power in the bat. Big cut at the first pitch. Indonesia looking to strand that runner at third. That would be a great start for them. Guam scored in each of the first four innings of the game yesterday. it off. One of the things these New Zealand umpires are noticing is that these international teams aren't in the habit of the on-deck batter going and picking up the foul ball. Great pitch. Great pitch. The batter managed to hold up. I'm swinging away at that, no doubt. <laughs> Pitch is up. And we've got a full count. Two out, runner on third. Sets him down, strikes him out. We got a game on our hands here.
So as we get ready here for the top of the second, the ground crew are getting ready for a run onto the field with some covers because oh, those clouds were looking pretty ominous. There's a chance they scoot around us, I guess, if I'm going to be really optimistic. A little bit of an issue here, one of our cameras has dropped out. Oh, I'm not sure what's going on with that. What I do know is... I don't have anybody here to go and look at it for me. here just fouling that ball <laughs> off his ankle never pleasant What happened? What happened to what? <laughs> uh, foul ball off his ankle. Okay, we're getting no joy with this other uh, camera. Keep doing our best to get it online, but in the meantime, this is our shot. I got a horrible feeling if I reset that camera, we're going to lose the stream entirely. So we're one ball, two strikes. <laughs> and that'll set him down. Yeah, well that one there is, uh... Oh, no, that one's fine. It's that one that's wobbling. This one is, um, offline for some reason. Even though it's the main one. So I'm going to have to try something extreme on this camera.
make the second out. Cam. from my little reset we're going to be good to go and indeed we are so like I said I needed to do something extreme and extreme work Fat off. <laughs> Number thirty one in the box for Indonesia. <laughs> and that's a third out. Very sharp today. That takes us to the middle of the second. Get ready here for the bottom of the second. That's on. It might be a raindrop that's collected on that camera. Fortunately, I've got this one running again. Tell you what, we're on our toes again today. And when I say we, I don't mean it, it's just me. That's a big hit. Right field over his head. He ends up holding him to just one. Well, 
Vaughan Weibel with me now. He can. Um, Good morning, everybody. He can give us some play by plays on this. Well, well, well played by Indonesia there to get that ball in quickly and uh, keep it to a single. Nice hit by the Korean uh, player. In fact, I'll tell you what, you can take over for a little bit. I'm going to go and look at that camera over there and see if I can tidy it up. Okay. Good luck, Paul. No, I, I already don't do this, okay? We'll, we'll, we'll send out for a bunt, okay? Cool shot, okay? Nice pitch for us, probably an Indonesian pitcher. Okay, we're showing bunt again, okay? First place, we get a good lead. Side ball. That's one on one. Bad is receiving the signal from the from the coach. Showing you bunt again. First place we're going to lead. Back. And yes. Good call from the Korean dugout. Going. Got him. Oh. Interesting call. Is that call safe? Yep. Time call by the three coach. Nice, nice track for the catch. And a very, very, very close play. You, you, did you, you have it safe? I had a bout. Oh, one chance. Yeah. I think, he be, I think he got him on the helm before he uh, touched the base. Put you back to your usual commentator because he's far better than I am. <laughs> <laughs> so we gave this camera a little bit of a tidy up. We can get a look at the batter, number 53. Two strikes on him, so we won't see him bunting again. Yeah, it seemed to just um, cruise around the side, which was nice. But and that is over the shortstop. Left fielder, who obviously came on earlier for that unfortunate injury in the first innings, does a good job. Holds him first and third. Tough time, Lee. It's uh, some bad news, so Indonesian player. A&E, for those that don't know, accident emergency here in New Zealand. Also known as... No, i got nothing. A&E. Runner goes. Oh, they had him picked off. They had him picked off at third. The runner broke home. Third baseman dropped the ball. First run on the board, Korea. Take the lead 1 0. You can see the bunt beautifully laid down. Advances the runner, but they do get the out at first. Oh, that is 
is a beautiful off-speed pitch. Two strikes now on the batter. I'm going to have to try something extreme soon in terms of getting the battery pack up to our cameras. Not a bad pitch. Gonna crowd the plate, he's not afraid to go inside. Two strikes on him. Can't believe he's bunting here. And he hasn't. Pulls back. Shortstop makes the play. Out at first, but he has done his job driving a runner in. And Korea add to their lead. 2 0 here in the second innings. to get in the head of the pitcher. Seems to be working, got a three ball count. And uh, he gets on with a walk ahead of our leadoff header. We're back around to the top. lead at first. This nine hole header has got on with the walk. He looks like he wants to run. And he does go. This coach has got a good arm, but he overthrows this one. Middle infield has made a little bit of a mess on it, but the player was not going to look to try to take third base out. Because now a single should drive him in. He's got some speed. One strike. Indonesian pitcher just losing his own a little bit here. Oh. 
And Ian Batter knows he's probably swung at ball four there. We've got ourselves a full count. That's Paul Four, he'll take a walk. Two batters in a row walk. This could bring the Indonesian coach out of the dugout. Have a talk to his pitcher. I don't think he'll make a change. Although with the pitch counts that we deal with here, I think he is actually. Looking to keep a starting pitcher under a pitch count that means he can still be effective for him later on in the tournament. Korean team taking an opportunity to go and get some of the wardrobe away. And no, I was right with my first call. He won't pull him yet. He's been fairly efficient. If I was to guess, I'll be looking to save him for semi-final day, which I think comes on Sunday. So last day of round robin tomorrow, and semi-finals we played straight after. Runners in runners in motion. Pedder lays down a bunt. It just goes foul down the first baseline. You see his disappointment in just getting that wrong. And the runners go again. Throw down to third. Oh. Not conventional. He's running into the base, not sliding in. Somehow managed to do a little bit of a split there at third base. And he's called safe. So now runners second and third. Batter still looking to put the pressure on, showing bunt every opportunity. The Korean team in the background there, all standing up in the dugout. Two balls, two strikes. Contact. Oh, and the first baseman has made an error. And you saw that lead at second base. He was a long way around. Both runs score on that error. That really hurts Indonesia. Unfortunate for number 23 on the mound there. He did his job. Got the weak ground ball to first. First baseman, I think, just thinking about getting to the base before securing the ball, and that's when errors happen. And that one was costly. See here, Korean coach giving some words of wisdom to his next two batters.
going to be number three hitter Beckett up on his beautiful Bruce Bolt gloves. No, all the kids love those gloves. He's one of the most supported players here, I think, parents and grandparents, I think. In attendance. He'll be looking to keep things rolling for Korea. at the centre fielder, centre fielder camping underneath, makes the easy play and that brings the innings to a close. Korea up, 4-0.
adjustments as I try to charge up these cameras. And pretty disappointed to see that the first charger is not working. Charger on that camera. I'll probably try to do it middle of the innings. We hit top of the third, four nil to Korea. Number nine in the bat for Indonesia, and we have number eleven on the mound for Korea. New pitcher. Second baseman, so it was a bit high. Player over at first. Got up, took the ball easily. Sorting out this charger and while I'm doing it, maybe sort this camera out. It's not looking the best.
player in a rundown. I think he's been awarded the base. As I calm down from my camera adjustment. Oh, and here comes the rain. So we've got the rain falling. They still haven't caught time. Now they have caught time and the cap's going on. Once again we've been hit with the beautiful Auckland weather, as you can probably see we've got a nice red Indonesian cap over the top of one of the cameras. The good news is I did manage to get the caps on the cameras. Should be good as far as that goes. We do have, we have some scorers near us, so we can just get confirmation on confirmation on the score. Uh, four 0 to Korea. There we go. You heard it here first. Well, actually, you already knew it because we did have it up on the scoreboard. Four 0 Korea up over Indonesia. Batter's box covers her out over the pitcher's mound. I'm trying to uh, look to the skies, look to the heavens, see how long I think this is going to last to work out if we cut this live stream and we go live again when they take the field. So now I think we'll stick with it. Take a little walk and try to find my third camera and see if it's operational again. We have to look it up later. We're all over the place today with the weather.
right, so a little update. Uh, the rain seems to be stopping. I think it might stop enough here that I'll take the take the cap off the camera. Take the cap off the camera and you'll get to see the grounds crew at work if I can do this fast enough. So that's the current uh, current state of things here. Big cover over the, the batter's box area. And as I get around here to remove my fantastic Indonesian cap. Oh, and as I do that, it looks like we've got a bit more rain coming in. Covered. It's just some light rain. I got the right game situation here. Just a little bit of light drizzle coming in at the moment. I would go to the you know, other camera which would give you a better view but I'm trying to make sure I keep that one dry at all costs. I'll admit to being uh, a little bit possibly too cavalier with the cameras which has led to a couple of them getting getting wet and uh, ruining the, the pictures we can give you. You see there Vaughan Weiber, New Zealand DA just pecking down the cover in the batter's box. In baseball in New Zealand it's a small enough sport that our district administrator is also an assistant groundskeeper. Part of what they call here at Hauk Packerang Hawks the GCs, the grounds crew, a team of volunteers that, that keep this ground in tip top condition. It's held a number of international tournaments. You see uh, the man simply known as Disco coming into shot now. Uppy and Paul Wandsbone. Uppy was a assistant coach for the New Zealand junior team. Travelled to Korea last year. Paul Wandsbone was manager of the intermediates team last year and He's moved up with that team and he's taking them in juniors this season so 
They're getting ready for the New, New Zealand qualifying series. Hoping to win that, travel to Korea. You can just catch Mark Irwin with the Auckland hoodie there. He's our tournament director. It's all hands on deck when the rain falls in Auckland. You can see Mark's uh, beautiful legs across the screen now. starts to come down just a little bit heavier. It does look as though it's going to clear. I think we're probably five, ten minutes and hopefully we're going to be good to go again. I'm going to risk keeping this camera on. Oh, shut it off. Okay, I'm going to go and see if I can dry off this camera. So apologies for uh, having to cover everything up there. Just as I mentioned, I'm prepared to risk it. A raindrop managed to hit my camera. You can actually see some blue sky here in Auckland. In case you're wondering, this is a fairly typical Auckland day. Shorts, t-shirt and sunshine. Followed by shivering under a blanket while the rain comes down. It'll be interesting to get an update from the ground screw at the end of this. The grounds were wet. They've done a good job to get, get, to, to get this game underway. If this rain carries on too much longer, it is possible that we're going to have a bit of a delay while things dry out. I will admit that that will give me a nice opportunity to go and try to find my first coffee of the day. Maybe visit the canteen here at Lloyd Ellsmore Park. HP Hawks, home of Follett Field. Got the canteen running. I'm sure Dom over there will be able to uh, make me up something nice. Because yesterday, with a game that went hours I must admit I was starting to fade not fade away no one will ever accuse me of that kid umpire Josh just making his way out onto the grounds rain's still falling a bit I'm gonna keep these cameras covered Maybe too optimistic just keeping the stream going, but the way I see it, there's a fast forward button. So if you are watching this delayed, I would suggest you've got at least a 10 minute fast forward from this point. I'm not sure what interesting information I can give you about Philip Field here. I, I believe it's 328 to the left field foul pole, but that corner of the field is actually also used as a junior diamond, so it has a backstop there. 
which must be maybe as much as eight to nine metres up. Something that Matthew Fegan curses in our premier semi-finals. He hit one off the very top of that backstop. Would have been a home run in any other field in Auckland, but I didn't see the result of it, but knowing Matthew Fegan's speed, I'm assuming it was a stand-up double. We're only 3.19 to the foul pole in right field, however that pretty quickly moves out to 3.64 sign in, in right centre, and I, I would assume we're yeah, somewhere around 3.80 to centre field. should risk moving my highly technical rain covers, i.e. baseball caps. But to be fair, the batter's box camera LA charges cap that I'm going to be moving. Let's see if we can get this camera line back up. It's a summer sport they say. Shorts and a t-shirt they say, well not here in Auckland. You name the conditions, we'll get it all on the same day. I'm almost getting brave enough as the sun actually breaks out. I'm brave enough to move the cap from our main camera. drop still falling but I get the feeling it's not going to last Samuel Lever if he was horrified about some of the coverage yesterday he'll be truly horrified about this he'll let me know that nobody wants to sit here watching rainfall some of the worst commentary you'll ever find. So I looked where the weather's coming from. We've got blue skies. I looked to where the weather's going and it is dark horrible and it looks like a lot of rain falling. We're just right on the edge of it here. Most of it's getting us, the worst of it. The wind is blowing, you can put it down, so with the wind blowing we're just hoping that it pushes the last of this off pretty quickly and we can get back into it. Good news is I did get the charger working on our main camera. <laughs> we were looking pretty pretty hairy there. It was uh, down to about 15%. Battery pack hooked up. We're, we're living at large, over 
charge. Patrick Pancock up and we will get through this game. Don't you worry about that. I can't believe how persistent the last part of this rain is. I'm literally standing here in sunshine with rain falling on my head. I'm not sure what else I can give you. I can actually ask a couple of the grounds crew to get out there, do us a bit of a dance. I would say he's got a grumpy face on, but I think that's the face he's got. Mostly blue skies above us now, and yet somehow the rain's still falling. I'm not going to say anything that's going to jinx my uh, camera that's currently uncovered. We've got nothing but good luck from here on in. Fast forward earlier, earlier and you thought you'd be um, getting some baseball by now. Sorry, you probably got another 15 minutes of fast forwarding. I'll look up. I see Kerry Hay walking around. If we're really lucky, Kerry Hay's brought a coffee. Yeah, sorry, right. I would have come earlier and apologized. That's Kerry Hay, apologising for leaving me at home. <laughs> and apology accepted when she turns up with a coffee in her hand. Thank you, <laughs> Kerry. So, I'm just going to... Can you hold that for a minute? Yep. I'm just going to get rid of yeah. our old oh, oh, yeah. That's the difficult bit for me. The what? Oh! Okay. I saw you did that. You stepped back and you went in the rain. So now these days, these days, if I. It was a step back. You're right. I just told him. Three and one. Good. I can't. You're good for that? I can't see. Oh, sorry. Where's the actual. Oh, looks not too bad. Maybe just needs to pan it a little to the left, but I'm happy with that. So now you really can see the action of this ground screw. You can also see the blue sky. Look at that blue sky on the picture, Kerry. Oh, perfect. <laughs> yeah. We're supposed to be positive, Kerry. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to see if I can do my little... Oh no, I can't pan that further to the left. If you ain't call a ball and then they throw a pick and it gets in a rundown, as soon as they throw that pick off, the only time you keep it alive is a pick. That possibly means I'm having to do some more climbing. Well, one of my cameras got wet again. It was the third camera I got to in the downpour. So I covered two of them. And at the moment, caps. We did. 
we did have plastic bags, but I forgot them this morning, Kerry. And then, my lovely wife, who said she was on her way out here, got the plastic bags. Oh, she was doing a few things, so... Alright, let's get this little adjustment right. best we can do. And with Vaughan coming up to me saying hello rules man, let's just Chuck a little graphic on here and mute. So as you see, conditions starting to improve, Korean team just mucking around, that camera probably a little bit foggy thanks to me leaving it in the rain, this one however looking awesome, so we're probably going to do the rest of this live stream just through this camera, I'll give you a few shots of the batters in the box, I really do need some sunny weather to help dry out my equipment. sunshine doesn't seem to be our uh, our staple for this week though seems to be more rain and wind the grounds crew just finishing up their work Just go picking up some Waratahs, don't want to leave those out there. The one thing we can't control is the weather. 
Korean president has advised us that is what we're going to do is Ken Clay. I just move away from the discussion that the DAs are having over there. Probably don't need to hear that. Unfortunately, it'd be dried by wind, not by sun. <laughs> it'd be nice if it got dried out by sun. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, not always, but this is a windy spot, so. It's amazing how much those trees and a few houses along there block the wind. Yeah. And then. Like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're back live. Looks like a beautiful day. Typical Auckland day. Ground ball back up the middle. The shortstop over. And the play is made. Lucky they got one of the tall lanky ones on first base, that throw was a little bit high but that gets us through the top of the third, a half innings that's lasted about an hour. Oh, 
your hand up. Yeah, your hand. Oh, All right, so getting ready for the bottom of the innings. I believe we're heading to bottom of the third. Scorers will correct me on this bottom of the third. And we're 4 0. It's hard to remember when it's been a long rain delay. <laughs> So I did have it correct. Courier up 4 0 going into the bottom of the third. That's a nice pitch. Really tough on pitches, these sorts of conditions. Big break. That mound. And the clay will be wet. Cleats will be full of clay. He just steps up and throws down a strike. Nice hit there out to left field. Nice pitching. And the batter's just able to put that into left field. And we got a leadoff single. We've got sun shining, wind blowing, the rain stopped. Got blue sky over us at the moment. And if you look over left field way, you'll see the clouds building again. these international teams starting to understand some of the challenges that we face here in New Zealand. We, we don't do it easy in New Zealand. That pitch behind the batter and even though the ball comes back to the catcher the player on first plenty of time to advance. That's a walk. First two batters of the innings reaching base. 
One with a nice single to left field. Advanced on a wild pitch. And then a walk. We see Korea really starting to threaten now. Of course they are one of the powerhouses of world baseball. Indonesia certainly do not have the resources that Korean baseball does, but they're competing. Competing hard. Once again, it's the little things that end up being the difference of these teams. Little errors, those little moments that break your way. They, it's not normally just luck. Like, a lot of skill goes into it. I'll tell you what, that's a tough, tough pitch. The catcher held that, he wanted that. One bit for his pitcher. Big cut on that one. 2-2 two -two count now. Two balls, two strikes. Runners go, and that's a double steal, double steal on the ball so we go to a full count, runners now second and third, just going to go and find my chair, I'm going to take it round the other side so I can sit in the sun, see if I can dry out a little bit. We have another walk. Bases loaded, no one out. Danger times now. Find my little spot in the sun. Sitting in my chair also has the added benefit that gets me down behind this yeah. backstop yeah. where yeah. I'm hoping you're not hearing the effects of the wind as much. Real opportunity here for Korea. Base is loaded, no one out. Can we just pay the hotel? Yes, you want to. Yeah. I, I, just, I just talked to the guy and then we have additional day. Can we just pay you? And they calculated as a number of the uh, person in it. So I, see, I, I'm still paying. You know. It's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I hope the Korea doesn't want to pay. So, just as a reminder of what we've faced, Rain did this to one of my cameras. So as much as it would be nice to give you that view of the batter, we're going to stick with this. Pitch up and outside. Nice pitch there. Oh, just a bit low, maybe inside. Well, three balls, one strike. Bases loaded, nowhere to put him. Nice pitch there, outside corner. Oh, we got full count. Big moment here for Indonesia. They've got to stay in this game. Oh, and that's a big hit. Big hit to left field. Left center, and that's split the left fielder and the center fielder. And that'll be a stand-up double, two-run score. We 
We've got runners second and third. Korea now up. Six runs to nothing. Not yet. This is I I see. That was a real tough situation there. The batter came through, driving the ball to the left centre. Time had been called there. Indonesia not realising. Picked that runner off at third. Now we've got a real situation. When you guys free, you guys Cola in the background. Oh, and that tips off the third baseman's glove. And that'll be two more runs scoring. Just coming in under the under the tag. The batter will end up taking second on the throw. Oh, he's got him picked off. <laughs> Runs at him. And that's the first out. So now the bases are empty, one out, career up, eight to nothing. Nice pitch here. That was shot in, yeah. That's why I came through on Tuesday. It's the same day as Korea, right? Yeah. Better there swinging at a high pitch. He's upset at himself, but it's been a good inning so far here. We'll have it too far. We finally get up a customer before. I'd wait for it. I was waiting for it. I was waiting for it. You might be able to hear in the background. How's it going? Very common complaint here in New Zealand. Customs delays for these travelling teams. Very lengthy process sometimes. Oh, and there we go. Strike three. That's a second out of the innings. Nice pitching. Would have been easy to really fall apart there, but... Real dark clouds now in left field. Back to our lead off header here. Here we are in the bottom of the third. <laughs> bottom third, eight nil to Korea. <laughs> Bullying me, Cola. Thanks, Cola. <laughs> <laughs> Can you do that again? No, that was actually quite nice. So we've told you about it. And that one was because we've got this. Where's the one here? On VG? Yeah. You were watching, and then this morning, you did. What was it? Swinging at a high pitch again. Must be some deception from this pitcher. Really getting to chase 
out of the zone, up high. Wild patch there. No one on base, so that doesn't doesn't advance any runners. Two-two count. Looking to get out of this one. And he does chase outside. That's the end of the innings. So we're through three innings now. Korea up eight to nothing. Okay, so as you can see, we've once again got the rain rolling in. Is it, is it done? And I've got a feeling that this is going to be us for the day. So it does look like it's setting in. So unfortunately, with the game situation, of Korea leading 8-0 after three innings. 
we're going to be cutting this live stream and uh, we'll only come back um, when this weather turns around and we actually get a situation where we can roll through this game so it's been a battle today I've done my best uh, the teams have done their best the grounds crew have done their best but it looks like we are done 